Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Techno Blurb. My name is Ivan Wilkins. And my name is Maurice John. And today's episode, we're going to be talking all about the Note 9, which was released two weeks ago. All well, right. not released, sorry, <laughs> announced two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, so we have some thoughts. Um, what do you think? Um, everybody's hyped about it. Um, I'm not hyped about it. I posted a small IG video on the IGTV app. You guys can check it out. It was a very small incremental upgrade to the Note 8. Um, noticeable changes were the pen, the storage. That's it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> pen and storage. That's the processor. Uh, no. <laughs> the camera comes straight from the S9. So yeah. Mm, yeah. So we we kind of. Well, let's start off with my dear MKBHD philosophy. I don't know MKHD, but I watch his videos, so I'm thinking the same way he's thinking. Phones are getting so good that when you are sharing your thoughts on a device, it's more of what the phone doesn't have than what the phone actually has. The Note 9 checks all boxes. Great camera, they have the best screen, according to the blogs it has a new stylus that charges inside of the slot they have more memory more storage everything is better everything is more everything is more <laughs> more 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 including the most price. the most in a, um the battery yeah excellent big battery 4000 milliamp but my problem is the price the price is ridiculous totally ridiculous yeah. and i blame apple for this i blame apple for this apple last year brought out the iphone 10 or x and set a new precedent in the market that everybody feel that they should follow the first bad thing that they brought was a notch and everybody ran to the notch thankfully samsung didn't and the second bad precedent they set is yeah. the price. <laughs> I don't see Samsung. I, I cannot see Samsung to that notch. I think they're too good of a display company to just follow along in that regard because they are supplying the, the displays for Apple. So they know the technology already. I, I, I think that in the display department, I have confidence in Samsung to not just follow as a blind sheep. Anything else possibly will follow along, but not in that department at all. So now we're looking at phones that are costing a thousand dollars. That's a laptop. That's like a high-end high-end laptop. That is a high-end laptop price. Right That's there. crazy. Pricing is becoming a problem for the smartphone market. And obviously, we're looking at the law of finance um, economics here they have less features to introduce so people are going to be less engaged in buying the phones so that means they are going to be smaller amount of devices sold so in order to all keep the profits high you have to raise the price and i think we're getting the short end of the stick in this regard so me and Iben, we kind of chose what are some other alternatives yeah. in today's age? Yeah, alternatives to the Note 9 because, I mean, there are a lot of other phones out there. You're getting at least 90% of what the Note 9 gives you at 60% less of the cost. Of the cost. Yeah. Um, so we picked our Note 9 alternatives. Um, I went with the Huawei P20 and Maurice went with the... I went with the OnePlus. Right, OnePlus. The OnePlus is is cheaper much, much cheaper and that's that's probably the best value for and best deal you're gonna get for a smartphone at this moment you're getting really top of the line high-end specs mm -hmm. at mid-tier prices exactly yeah. so the oneplus has basically the same only the cameras I will fall. The cameras are but, not as good. But the camera is still great. It's still good. But it's not like it's not on the level of, of the galaxy, the, the top pix, galaxies pix, up there, and the pixels. Exactly. But it's still up it's, there. It's still up there. You know? So if you're looking for a phone to buy, I would say 
the OnePlus. The $500 range is perfectly fine for a high-end phone right now. I would go with that. Mm -hmm. If yeah. not that, even the essential phone, great design, ceramic, and titanium, and you could get one for 300 or something US. I'm looking to buy a phone, an Android phone for development, and I am looking at a refurbished Pixel 1 which you could get about 200 or something US. You still get the excellent yeah. camera from last year. Yeah. Still good performance. Still great updates every time Google releases an update. But I get a $400 discount by waiting a year. Yeah. Trust me, there are I a lot of other options out yeah. there. I mean, a person's going to realize that. Um, that 1000 price tag is it's very a, steep it's too much considering there are other phones out there that just as good for far less exactly so i love apple again i love apple but this is apple's fault i blame you apple mm -hmm. we move from 650 dollars to a thousand and some in such a quick jump it's it's crazy so I am not seeing the value. There is there isn't a justified value point. Like there isn't such a this crazy feature that came out. There is a crazy feature, Marie. The notch. <laughs> no man, they have the exclusive on the emojis. Come on, oh, man. Come on. Come on. Emoji. <laughs> Dying, <laughs> no, even she trying to frustrate me. Trying to trying to rile me up. But no. Oh, uh, that emoji is not three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I no, I refuse. I refuse. So, thoughts on the Note Nine? Excellent device, mm -hmm. top to bottom. Everything that you will need. Huge screen. Great um, stylus. Great battery. Everything. Great amount of storage. Great memory. Everything about it is perfect. Great camera, but. To fork out a thousand US is asking a bit too much. That's just my opinion. Yeah, that's that's our opinion. That's actually. our opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this has been another episode of Techno Blob. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe under the video, and we'll be here for another video next week. That's right, guys. Thanks for having us. All right. Have a good Peace. one.